All right, so if you're just joining or if you're watching on YouTube, the name of the day is Octurus. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. We're doing the one build to rule them all with Shardtail Queen, Melting Remnant, and we're doing Largest Lads. Sorry, I streamed. You guys had to hear this twice because uh, I didn't push record. Um, so that means you get Gravity, so at the end of every turn, uh, all from the units descend. Uh, you get Big Chungus, all from the units take one extra capacity. And you get Zoom and Enhance, all cards have one additional upgrade slot. So it's going to be wild, is what I'm saying. It's going to be really wild. Um, this is one of the only times when Transcendent might actually not be that great. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, March of Shields is really good, though, because that means we can put whoever falls down um, somewhere else, which is, or like in the front. Uh, Seraph Diligent, not too scary. We would likely have to play bottom floor anyway. Light's Gift, pretty bad. Prototype's pretty good at early game. And, I mean, you can't play in Parade. Oh, you can't play Royalty either. Both are really terrible. I guess we'll take in Parade and try to hope for Imperialists. Um, I'm going to go with Winged Indulgence. And the goal here is to... Yeah, we're not going to do this, I don't think. Merchant of Steel. Remnant Banner. I think we're going to ignore this one. I'm trying to think what we want to do. It honestly depends largely on what units we get. How we're going to end up playing this build. Correct. Okay. So we can play you. Oh, we oh we can't. We can play you. And then we will vent. Because we have to. I think. Just to survive. Oh, that's terrible. Or we just go... You know what? Let's just go for it. What the heck? What do we got to lose? Get you in there. Okay. Do this again. And give you extra armor. And we're just gonna chill. And hope that these two guys together are enough. Turns out it is. Sick. Also, I mean, there's a chance we could actually have gotten through. Oh, we can. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> I thought maybe we could have gotten through, but it's fine. We'll need an extra capacity so that we can play two, three capacity units on a floor. See, I, I mean, I'd love Welder Helper. Right now, it's terrible, so we're not going to do it. Um... Horn break's not bad. I don't see dripfall being particularly useful. What we need is some type of like. Oof, I don't even know. Endless on something. I mean, at least Lady of the House does some damage, which is pretty good. We're not going to take any shards, I don't think. Plus 30 onto Hornbreak. Plus 30 onto Vent. I mean, plus 30 onto Vent is pretty good. I think I might take that. But we're going to wait. I think what we want is Paraffin Enforcer. Paraffin Enforcer goes a long way towards helping us succeed. Okay, we get big vent early. We can play you. Play you here and big vent. I'm kind of crushing here. We can do that, keep you around a little bit longer, play that. And chill. 
Um, one, two. Spit the sewer. And I think we're probably okay. Now we're okay. Uh, this would kill the frontliner. So we could do like that, that, and we almost would have gotten there. But we're gonna be good. We can kill. Barely on the last hit. Holy cow. Uh, Ritual of Battle. And... I mean, I kind of like the idea of Entombed Explosive. More than the stealth, I think. Steelworker is also pretty good. not a lot of damage but it is pretty good sustain so maybe that's okay I'm gonna take hmm, I'm gonna take friendly units have plus 10 for now all right we got to get some like solid upgrades going it's another endless it's really not what we want apex imp okay Okay. There's a build coming. I, I can feel it. None of this. We're probably just going to get rid of the... Uh... We're going to combine Ritual of Battle and March of Shields. The build is going to be Apex and... Which means we can't get Imperialist, by the way. Imperialist is now out of the question. What if we gave you large stone? Is that actually good? You still fit in the middle floor, but if we couldn't play, we can't play two units anyway on the bottom floor. So we just always play Apex Imp on the middle floor. So what I'm gonna do is combine Apex Imp with Steelworker and dupe it a bunch of times. That's, that's my goal. So actually, I'm not going to go large stone. We'll chill. Still. We'll go left path here. Right path here. Up. That's when we'll merge. So we don't take any more shards. I think we're okay. Apex Imp plus Steelworker should be enough to get us the win. Okay. Because we can go Apex Imp. Queen. Next is Spike. Kills the front unit. It's pretty easy to kill the back units. Steelworker, super good. Um, I do like playing the Lady of the House. We might as well get her out. We can play the Implane first and then play Lady of the House. Play that. That seems all pretty good. Uh, big vent. So play this onto you. We can not bring anybody back. Let's just play a steward. Do that. Okay. That's not great. Um. Play another steward. Get entombed explosive back here as well. Really want uh, better stuff. Okay. What we really want is just to be able to put uh, somebody else in front. So March of Shields. 
many did the lady of the house has five hits march of shields lady of the house and then we're crushing like look at the squad we've got like this massive squad here this is not bad it's just uh, a little awkward um don't really think we need intent on death sacrificial resurrection is really good with this particular build and I'm going to probably skip. And Arcus the Darkest. I think I'm going to go with extra capacity and then extra ember. And we'll just go for a thin-ish deck. Do we need extra capacity? Maybe we don't. Maybe we just take extra draw and extra ember. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the draw first, then we'll take the extra ember second. Okay, so we're going left so we can remove. Uh resonant shard is fantastic. The rage would also have been pretty good. We gotta get rid of these imps. They're trash. And we can't take Imperialists. We have to just keep going in Parade, which is extremely awkward. I think we can take this, though. Sketches is kind of interesting. I don't hate it at all. And then we just put the Queen up top. Yeah, Sketches. Especially by the end, if we can thin out and just have literally Apex Imps with uh, Steelworkers, like, that's sick. Sure, why not? Okay, so we get the full squad. We're gonna go. Uh, we gotta get the steelworker in there. Steelworker cannot survive. This is the problem. We don't have enough capacity to fit everybody. You get your apex imp out there. That's mandatory. We can put you out there just to take a hit, I guess. The problem is Apex Imp dies here, too. Oh, I can kill the backliner, though. That's pretty good. And we could sacrifice to get a big unit, but I think we just play the train steward like this. Oh, that brings him to the front. I think this guy's gonna make it to the pyre. Yeah, I, we can't bring that guy to the front. What if we do this? You would live. And then we vent. You're good here. You're good here. We can vent here. Does not save anybody. And we still got problems. Um. I think we're dead. I don't see how... I mean, I can do this, but I don't see how Apex Imp survives. And... I mean, you will at least kill that guy. We can do that. But I think Apex Imp just dies. Yeah, it's just not good enough. I will be able to vent and get a hit out there. Uh, so I think you go, Lady of the House, a Fledgling Imp, there's no vent anymore, crap.
We have to get the vents here. Also, that interaction is super annoying. Appreciate that game. Uh, we can do this. And vent. Then at least you're taking some damage. And we can actually play units out. What else do we get? Spooky Sewer cannot be played. 126 damage. Not really enough to get us there. Um, spooky Steward. Spooky Steward. Lady of the House is also not going to be enough, but she would be the best one, I think. He's only doing 80 damage. Does more than 80 damage. Okay, well, that sucks. We actually had a really good setup, we just couldn't play. I needed to go capacity. Ascend, what an absolute garbage card. Thank you, game. <laughs> Appreciate you giving me this really, really great starting card. Uh, we gotta go Imperialist. Yes. And then the goal with Imperialist here is that we can have things drop down and then they die. The imps die when they get dropped down. That would be a lot of unit upgrades, but I think we're going to go Imp Queen's Tail. And the biggest problem is, how do we keep the Queen alive? This is the mystery that all of us get to try to solve together. And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. Play you. That clears the floor, at least. Get into the pyre room. Blast ya. Kill ya. Sick. That was like, kind of perfect. Send you, play you. Okay. Does not help at all. <laughs> uh, whatever we play is going to immediately die. So let's just do the best we can. Uh, we can play both stewards up top. They don't do a lot though. I'm gonna chill. It's gonna go down and die. We'd really love to be able to blow up an imp. That's exactly what we want. And then what we can do. I think we just blow up this imp for now. Uh, play you out there. We don't really need, like, a lot right now. I mean, it would help if we got any unit at all. Any unit at all would have been great. Uh, we can save 9 damage by doing this. That wasn't great. Um, the problem is, is that we're going against Seraph the Chaste. We have to take Ritual of Battle. We need to have some way of scaling. Wicklash is a better way of scaling. And now what unit do we want? I kind of think it's Rail Beater. I want a Demon for sure. There's Multi-Strike on him. A decent start. Could put Paraffin Thug onto him, but I think that's probably not so amazing. I'm gonna skip these. And we're gonna chill for now. Yeah, we have some time. Next, uh, we want to get the uh, a much cheaper um, 
Ritual of Battle. Spikes. Hmm. Spikes might be okay. The guy's got 30 armor. Okay. So what I really like is to go one, two. We can ascend you. Or we can do this. We can go one, two. We could just send him up like that. Obviously, it would be great if we could play a third, but it is what it is. We take five damage. But actually, now I think we're totally fine against uh, boss. Actually, much closer than I thought it would be. Ah, but you know what we can do? Let's just uh, move one of you up. Get wrecked. Cool. Oh. Got there. Took much less damage that time. Still takes a little bit, a little bit of damage though. Um, I don't know that we need to fortify. Welder helper is just—it's you, you imps in general are just a real struggle to make work here. Oh, draft. Draft would give you an extra strike, and we do have two. Uh, purifying cleanses. If we got intrinsic on one of them, or intrinsic on Wicklash, that wouldn't be terrible. Better would be a paraffin enforcer, actually. Let's go this way. We want to get uh, minus one on Wicklash, and then intrinsic spell chain would be like the perfect combo. <laughs> I don't know what you'd want a permafrost. <laughs> Hold over. <laughs> we could also hold over the Wicklash too. And still get spell chain and or intrinsic. <laughs> what do you got for me? Yeah, this is not good. I mean Demon Fiend is big stats, but I don't think it's still worth it. An extra multi-strike. So he's striking a lot, which is pretty good. I'm gonna go for a gift of gratitude. Just get a quick payout and then be done. I don't know if this is better than what we had last time, but it certainly is different than what we had last time. <laughs> Let's do this. And then... I'm gonna go like you. You. I'm gonna let you absorb this damage. She's gonna straight up get a payout here. I guess I could have played Nymph and still gotten the payout, but. I, I figured Relbeater's probably going to die. And I think that I'm actually okay with that. Because now we can bring back Relbeater and we still have the holdover. Uh -huh. Obviously this is kind of annoying. We can ascend. What if we ascend you? Okay. 
right? Just thinking. Be great if we could just kill one. dead that's the that's the important part not only are we not dead we're kind of crushing Let's send you out of the way cool the three strikes is like heavy heavy damage very quickly um so formless child i really don't know i think i'm gonna skip here Alpha Fiend is pretty good on a triple striking rail beater at the cost of one extra capacity. And then you would just try to get quick, I think. Or you just take a paraffin thug and get tons of money. This is a tough one. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip take extra capacity and now I'm gonna go left path and see if we don't get oh but right path is unit upgrades if we get intrinsic I'll put the uh, we don't but maybe it's still okay just to get an extra strike and burnout on the rail beater. I don't know if that's terrible. Because all the extra strikes are just really, really solid on Rail Beater. We can get quick as well. Now he's just doing a ton of damage. And what else can we get? Another strike. The guy's doing five strikes. I'm gonna spend money to get rid of at least one train steward. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna go Imperialist literally just to have extra HP. <laughs> and, uh... Do we need this much money? For spell upgrades? I don't think so. I think we just play this one safe. Like, this guy's doing so much freaking damage. She only takes one damage. And then we can immediately bring him back. Once we get a reform. <laughs> it's the trick. Um... go like the ultimate greed play and this is good AoE I think we need to do the AoE that would just kill the front unit I think we want the AoE 
Okay. Yes, you love to see it. This guy will kill all of them. She will clear all the floors. We can do this, we can do this, do that. And he'll kill, no, he won't, he won't kill anybody. We can play these guys down here too though, just block. This is looking pretty solid now. I can ascend this jerk. He dies. And play an imp. And play another imp. And our man here is doing... I think he's one-shotting him. Can we one-shot him with this? Yep, we one-shot him. Look at that. An actual one-shot on the boss. 146 damage per hit. Uh, Important work, pretty bad. Tiresome climbs, like, okay. But I think we're okay as is. Um, Sacred Wix is pretty good as a way to just get our dude back. <laughs> we definitely don't need another. If we just take the money. Uh, minus one. On. Well, let's see what we get here. If we get minus two. Spell chain, you love it. Oh, you love to see that. That's really good stuff. And then we can minus one on the ritual of battle. Get a fuse. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Like we need any of this. I would maybe consider, but like, we just don't have that much draw. Spells is fine. We only have one spell and it's pretty crap. Okay. You're gonna do some damage. 90 damage. You would do an extra 40 at the end. And we can chill. Okay. You're gonna crush here, my friend. You can play this. Play you out. For fun. Uh, probably just heal you up. Now we're just crushing. I mean, we were kind of always crushing, but now it's just like way over the top. I'm gonna play another imp. Okay. Would love to be able to kill that guy. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of tough. Not impossible. Um, interesting. If I play you and play you, we get the kill at the light cost of having to play a Wicklash on you. What's also really funny, we can ascend him so that he'll be at the back. <laughs> and now he's got a steward and an imp in the way. And none of that even matters because we're doing close to a thousand damage quick. More than a thousand damage quick. Yeah. Thousand two hundred damage quick. Um, again, we don't need any of this garbage. And we don't need any of this garbage. This is looking okay. This is actually looking okay. Uh, we don't need any other unit upgrades. We just really want to like clean out all of the rest of the units for the most part. Uh, we'll start with stewards because the imps still have value in AoE. Um, 
I think just make ritual battle free. And I don't know if there's anything else we want to take here is the problem. You know what? We can do intrinsic on purifying cleanse so the guy doesn't go away. That's pretty good. How are we going to get our shard count? I think we're going to go right path here and dupe our uh, Wicklash is what we'll do. It's not times three. He has uh, five strikes. So it's it was one... 139 139 plus 278 times 4 um, we can make the hidden passage free for no reason oh big follows somehow got through can't do that, friendo. Get banned. Big follows. They're trying, but uh, I'm onto their schemes. Um, I think it's worth at this point also spending money to get rid of some stuff. Impressive. I'm probably never going to play again. Let's keep going. So what do we need to make this build over the top? This is the best. Well, you start with this. Already gets you in a good spot. You can play these guys out. I mean, big rage. Certainly not going to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay. Really solid AoE here. Can play you out as well. And you out as well. Boom. Boom. Who is actually hitting us? Just this guy? You know what? Now you're not hitting us. How do you feel about that? Sure. Need help on harvest. There you go. And your damage scaling is just like too crazy now. We're probably gonna just one shot Marcus. Believe it or not, like, he's just gonna get one shot. It's just too much damage. And when we can dupe that as well, so we're just getting plus 40 every single turn. And it's, then it's just over. Wait for it. Oh, so close. Still getting a one hit in. One hit in. Let's see how much HP he has at the end, though. 570 was all he had left. Man hitting like a truck. Um... I don't think we're going to play Hallowed Halls. Or really any of this. I just want the deck to be thin. That's all I've ever wanted, was a thin deck to cuddle up to. Alright, let's grab Infused Mallet. Let's dupe our Holdover Whiplash. We probably end up duping it even a second time, getting us to exactly 100 shards. Uh, we can go full Imperialist, so we have the most HP possible. Plus, we're going to get plus 40, so we're going to have 120 HP. And if she dies, we res her and bring her back. Like, it's not a big deal. I think this is still fine. Who knows? Could completely destroy us. Looks like it's going to. So let's play you out. One, two, three. Okay. 
So the question is, does this guy just completely destroy us? The answer is maybe. Let's bring you up. Oh, you're clearing the whole floor. That's really hard to, to not, but you, we, we gotta do this. As much as I hate it, he's gotta clear this floor by himself. He's gotta get through the whole squad. And then I think we bring you up as well. No, I think you don't die. Let's just get the money. Just take the money. Okay. This guy is going to hit us seven, eight times. He won't kill us, though. We're just barely surviving. And there's really no way to get around it. Unless I literally get both. I'd have to have literally gotten both um, ascends right then. Okay, well that helps a bit. Yeah, you're going to lose your last rage and you're going to hit us. going to hit us eight times. Which is uh, obviously not what you want to see, but what are you going to do? We lived. I mean, you can't complain. You are it, when you're living, you can't complain. And we are going to finish this fight. I think we can probably get to like Yeah. Yeah. So we just uh first round him. Wow. Not bad. Again, don't really think we need any of this don't think we need any of this. We just need a thin. Thin the deck. Thin deck. Win deck is the is the play here. So we're going to go left path. Yeet out. It might even be the ascends. We're going to dupe this again. It, the more that we can get value out of... Um, I don't, I don't think these, uh, sorry, I, I didn't even finish my thought. The more that we can get value out of, uh, these wick lashes, the better. Cheater's hand is kind of extra draw. It's like extra draw the first turn. I don't think we take Ash to the Fallen. I don't think we take any of this, actually. This is not bad. With combustible wax, we wouldn't need to have intrinsic on the purifying cleanse. But I think I'm just going to spend my money to remove cards. Um, the imps are not terrible. I think uh, this hidden passage, a primitive mold. It might even mostly just be primitive molds. Maybe we can get rid of the other. No, we need the purifying cleanse to heal the queen. If we can get rid of a sacred wix. And then we can just minus cost something. I don't want to hold over anything, though. I'm not going to take this. I think we're good. I think we have a build that works. It's one unit, but it's one unit that does just ludicrous amounts of damage. So we play you out. Then we kill everybody. Oh, you'll love to see it. Look at this. Boom. Opening hand. Clear the floor. Get wrecked. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, we're actually taking some damage, which is kind of insane. Okay. There we go. This is the this is the turn. I don't know that we kill every floor during Divinity. This is my only concern. We certainly kill a lot of them, and with Imps, maybe we get there, but it's uh, a little bit dangerous. But here we're okay. Leaks are gonna be a problem. Yeah, leaks are gonna be a problem. If we had Trample, this would be, like, perfect. The biggest uh, worry that I have is the Harvest Lore. I'm not really worried about any other... Like, the bo many bosses, we just destroy them. But, uh... Yeah, those, uh... Harvest Floors... ...can be really, really difficult. If I move you out of the way, do we get the kill faster? I doubt it, but yeah, we're gonna have to take one hit. Oh my gosh! 100 damage left after all those swings. That's crazy. Um, yeah. We need an opening hand. This is not good not good. Okay, well, that's already a kill floor for us. <clears throat> not a great start. I can kill this, uh, Wiltwing. Now things get scary. Because this guy can only hit us one time. Or we lose. Uh, I'm getting through like almost all of them. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think there's any way I kill every single one of them. Top floor doesn't work though, they just come down. And it's not gonna be enough damage. Like even this guy just kills us. Alright, I'm gonna try this again, but I don't see this whoops, I don't see this working out. I think the problem was is that we don't have like sweep or anything like that, and we didn't start with it. Like we needed to start with. You know, the other thought is maybe the AOE is more valuable. Maybe the AOE is more valuable than the rail beater, the opening turn.
I feel like it's actively worse than it was before. Can we do this? I have a thought. Almost clears the floor. That does clear the floor. Armor guy. If we get him, we win. Like, literally, if we just get him back, we can play him and buff him up like a ton, and I think maybe we can make it work. But it's, ah, oh, it's hard. This, finding a line for this one's like really tough. Okay, let me think. Okay, hold on. What if we go... You. 
block one of the hits. Heal you up. Play this man. Okay. I think the problem is now these guys just kill us, but you know, you never know. Let's see what happens. damage on to Divinity here. But that's it. Yeah, I don't see a way that we can do this that's possible. The drop is just too detrimental for us. <laughs> Like, we would need to be able to play Shard Tail Queen, Rail Beater, and Imps on the same floor. Which is just not possible. Even if we can get reasonably close. Because even here, it doesn't matter that we can play every single one of those. It's still, we just can't get through. We just can't get through. We need to be able to play an imp down here first and then kill everything. I'm trying to think if there's any other way that I can think of making this work. So this guy just kills him. One time we had the Ascend here. I don't know why we don't have it now.
Nothing. Oh, I'm very confused about that. I mean, the fact that they die maybe is relevant somehow. If we can bring back specifically him. I mean, he would kill the top floor, and if we could ascend, we could kill it again. Problem is right here. We can, I mean, we can ascend him. Definitely ascend him. But then again, we have to get ascend. <laughs> or else we just die. Yeah. That's kinda what I thought. Yeah, I think we're done. Oh! The second one? That's disappointing. Well, we will try this one again. Two tries is enough for me tonight. Ah, disappointing. That's brutal, though. I think I think we need... The problem is there's no way to get sweep. There's no way to consistently get the queen to AoE. Um... I really don't know how we're going to do it. Like, that was, like, as good of a run as you can get. Five strikes on a single unit. I guess you can go for, like, bigger units. Maybe, like, a Legion of Wax that has um, Burnout 1 and it has, like, an Entombed Explosive onto it. That maybe could work. To just get huge burst damage out. You get like, I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about it. Or you get them down to zero. Like you get lucky and get the cavern event that makes it one capacity. I don't know. I got to think about it. But anyway, we're going to end this for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We will try it again another time. Thanks for watching.